What's up, Adam? Billy. Uh, we're going to make this a quick one because we haven't got much time. But we'd be given a topic to talk about, which is mainstream bands and their followers or fans or whatever. Yeah, mainstream artists. Um, groups. And... Mainstream artists in general, I haven't got a problem with them. I don't listen to mainstream stuff yeah, but... as such. But, like... There's certain things that annoy me about them, like the way they present themselves and moan about their lifestyles when their lifestyles are pretty much perfect. Hmm. Um, I just think some of them are quite ungrateful. Like they could, they could, like, have a better outlook on life hmm. as such when they've been like that successful. I know that after years in touring, like you get tired of it and whatever, but still. Yeah, and there's always down points, but you you got to bring that back together. You know what I mean? I mean hmm. like, one Direction, they're, I'm going to say this, they're a manufactured group. They got together, went on the X Factor, and uh, I'm not saying they did well, obviously, they're all good singers, and that's, that's why they're so as big as they are. And I'm not taking anything away from them, saying that they're not talented. They are talented, obviously, clearly. But they're just, there's no sort of soul behind it, you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, there's a lot of these groups, uh, I think that like Little Mix... They were, I think I don't even know apparently, who that is, so I can't comment. Apparently they were they were four separate singers who were put together by the um the judges. Now that that that's not gonna work. You need to you need to have a real chemistry. It's like like playing a football team. Like the, oh, I don't even when, watch football. I know, but when, yeah, I know, but when you buy the players, you wanna make sure they all get on. That's another thing that annoys me. Why do football players get paid so much? They do, don't they? Faggots. But anyway. So yeah, you've got I mean I mean, if you're a mainstream artist, you've got to, you've got to respect the fact that you you are basically what's driving society these days, and you've got to rub that off on your fans. Which brings us on to our next point: the fans. The fan base. This is all. This is. Um, this is a bit. I know we we, we, we will get a lot of hate haters. and a lot of defense. Um, we have before well. when we've spoken about things like this. Um, I'm not blaming the artists for this because the artists most probably don't even know this goes on, but. A lot of the fans, uh, the mainstream artists, think that they know best. Think that their opinion's right, and just because they everyone else is bullshit. And just, if you don't listen to like a certain artist yeah. or whatever, like then you're an idiot or a fag or whatever. You should go die. And you they and you like you know who you are because you like do it, but you bully people because they don't like what you like. Not everyone in life's gonna like what you like. You have to accept differences. What like, I mean. Like, I mean, like I didn't. I never used to like. I'm gonna admit this. I never used to like My Chemical Romance. I never stopped him from listening to him. Exactly. I've I've listened to him since 2006. I mean, obviously we're family. Doesn't mean and we used to make jokes about it. Like I used to go, oh, I had a My Chemical Romance. But, but, used to go, oh, they're shit. Yeah, but but he used to with, say it's a joke. With that, was... with that, I didn't just not like them. Yeah. I did listen to them yeah, for, a, yeah. and I didn't just listen to one or two songs. I listened to a few of the albums, and then decided came to that the conclusion. Yeah, they weren't for me. But then they grew on me, that's, and like, yeah, I got you into conventional yeah. weapons, didn't I? Yeah. That's like, and like, what I'm saying is, I've before I form an opinion on something, like say say if it's a, if if it's a food I don't like, if I look at it and go, oh, that's disgusting, I'll try it, and then maybe say, oh, it tastes nice, but oh, it tastes horrible, you know, whatever. It's the same with music. If like a new mainstream artist comes out, whatever, that oh, give him give him or her a listen. Like I have, I've listened to Justin Bieber, I've listened to One Direction, and I don't like him. That's what I'm going to say. I, I don't like them. I quite liked Boyfriend by Justin Bieber. It's not I'm so... I'm putting it out there. I'm going to get so much shit there. <laughs> but it was a good song. And that's, see, that's, see, look. Well, we're willing to admit that. and No, I'm willing to admit well, you that. Are, but I didn't You're not. No, I've listened, I've listened to the song. Never said you didn't. Know. Just saying. I've, I, I, like I said, like, and what I think everyone should do is... And Drake's quite good as well. I like, um, I like Ellie Golden. Skrillex. Ellie Golden's amazing. I love Ellie Golden. She's brilliant. <laughs> and I think you should, you should listen... Not not necessarily to the music either, to to the fans. Listen to other fan bases, what they have to say. Don't just say, oh, go kill yourself because you like a different type of music to me because you like rock and you I, think you're an emo and shit like I that. Like, don't just form opinions on something you don't know about. I like Learn it. about it first. Then you'll get more respect from us as fan bases grow. See, I like the people, the fact that some people aren't afraid to listen to two totally different yeah. types of yeah. music. Like I've seen on Twitter, especially in people's bios, they put, I love Black Veil Brides, I love One Direction. Mm. I've seen ones that's that say, great. I've seen ones that go so drastically from Ask Alexandria, Suicide Silence, to the heaviest band, then suddenly I like One Direction as well. 
So what? That's embrace that. Embrace the fact that you like two types of music, and you 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 accept it enough to stand up and say, I'm um, I like this fan base and I like this fan base. I'm the marmite of the fan and base. And people say uh, this annoys me. People say that I uh, I wash your guilty pleasure on your like iTunes or whatever. I have no guilty pre- guilty pleasures. I look, embrace look, all the music. I'm, look, I'm on. I'm on. I've got Adam's. I, I'm Billy iTunes Joe. Now. Billy look, Joe. He's Akon. got. He's got Ask, Akon. Uh, Alexander Burke's not mine though. He's got Akon. He's got uh, Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Battle for Brides. Asking Alexandra. Of course. It's um, like Eminem. Like, Eminem. Like I'll listen to anything. And Gabriella Alpin. Yeah. She's really good. She's got an amazing. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn. It's like. I'd listen to anything. Like I would say, I don't think you should be afraid of like, like admitting to that, as yeah. such. Because if you listen, to, say, I if even if I listen to One Direction, mm. if people are like, oh, what's your guilty pleasure? But like, I haven't got one. Like, oh, but you listen to One Direction? Yeah, because I would like them. So like my sort of um, my sort of iTunes or iPod, it goes sort of. His is I've metal. got I've got metal, pop punk. Rock. Punk, rock, indie. I've got Ellie Golden. I love Ellie Golden. I've got the script. That's great. I've got. I like the song she did with Skrillex. That was good. I think. Wasn't it Calvin Harris? No. Skrillex. Oh, well, oh <laughs> I think um, Ellie Golden done one with Calvin, Calvin Harris. Good one, actually. But <laughs> I prefer Skrillex one. But no, she, uh, I like see, Skrillex. Like, even, though, even though that's not, say, going from liking My Chem to One Direction, I've still got quite varied. It's good to be diverse. In there. Don't ever be afraid to listen to something that no one else listens to. Exactly. Like, for a long time, I was ashamed of listening to 80s rock when I was younger. And it got to the point where I thought, no, fuck this, I like it. I don't give a shit what people say. All my favourite bands are from the 80s, yeah. the 70s and the 80s, so I'm going to listen it grows, to it. It will grow upon you. Like, like you may want to hide it. Like, you, you may want to hide the fact... like. Not necessarily if you're a, like a mainstream artist, because then you have more people to sort of like mingle with. You know what I mean? But I could be in a class of about 30, that's usually what it is in my school now. I'm in a class of thirty, and I think me and like one or two others are the only ones that like my sort of music. And I don't I like. I think one of my mates actually said to me, "I was probably the first person in our year to proudly stand up and say I don't like mainstream music. I like rock music, and I got quite a bit of shit for it." For about two years, but I don't care if it's, you listen to it. You listen to it. Uh, at the end of the day, we got to think we should round off with this. Yeah. Like, if you like something, don't be afraid to hide it. Embrace exactly. whatever exactly. you love. Like, whatever it is. Like, it's going off of music in general. But in general, if you're gay or mm. you want to dress as a woman, if you're a guy, embrace it. Be do whatever it takes to be happy no. within reason. Like, don't go around yeah, killing no, no, people no. or something like that if you're, like, a psychotic murderer. But yeah, don't, don't go around like, stabbing kittens. Or... Like, do what makes you happy. Don't don't sell yourself out to make other people happy. No, like, I, I go around... I mean, look, we're, me and Adam, we, I've got skinny jeans on. Adam's wearing a Vendor Sevenfold. I've got a Young Guns hat. I've got Rolling Stones jumper. It's, it's, what, it's what you want to do... No one else can tell you to stop wearing your clothes or stop listening I, to your music. I, I cut my hair off because I wanted to. Like, no one, I'm not going to listen to anyone. Like, I've got it from a few people. Like, oh, why would you cut your hair on that? Like, I've spoken about this, like... Twice and I have before. two afros. Like, <laughs> look. Look at that afro. It's like, just do whatever makes you happy. Don't... Don't sell yourself out at all. Yeah. Like, the, like, some of the mainstream artists do. They, they sell themselves out and just... To some bands and, do as well. Some bands have done it. I'm not gonna name names. No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not naming any names. But it doesn't mean you have to stop listening to them. It doesn't mean you your opinion changes on them. If what if it's what you want to listen to, it's you want to listen to it. Don't even like. Don't even look at it as mainstream or yeah, not mainstream. Look at it as, as just music every, in general. Every, every band or artist has a decent a decent fan base to consider yes, themselves every, mainstream. Every every successful band or artist is mainstream because. They are in the mainstream. But in, but in, you can, but in like, separate genres. That's what I'm saying. Genres. Like mainstream, mainstream is a very misused word. Yeah, I feel. But I mean, we had talked about the mainstream as what's popular in society today, which is like in, let's say like the top forty or whatever. Let's say like I mean, I remember the top forty even back when I was little. The only sort of bands that were getting in were Coldplay and Weezer. 
I remember back when it was. I still remember a bit of Oasis and Blur in there. Oh well, I grew up. I was watching the the top forty in like the nineties. The nineties wasn't good for music. It was all right. There the was, no, Blur, no, there was no, Blur, no. Oasis, Blur and Oasis, and then the Spice Girls. <laughs> like you had Simply what, Red. <laughs> oh yeah, Simply Red. Um, wet, wet, wet. But like, don't don't make yourself unhappy by trying to make someone else unhappy. If they can't accept you for who you are and or what you listen to, fuck them. They're lost at the end of the day. Mm. And that's it, guys. Yeah, we. That was that was like the rough. biggest roundup ever. That was the biggest anti climax ever. All right, we'll see you later, guys. Can't wait for the hate. Yeah, <laughs> bring it on.